It's been almost 72 hours since Detective Chief Inspector John Caldwell came face to face with the gunmen who changed his life. Wearing masks and armed with a gun, they fired several shots at him in front of his son. The detective is still laying in hospital, critically ill and heavily sedated. Last night I had the chance to speak to John's wife and his son. Uh, they are clearly heavily affected by what they've gone through, but want to pass on their thanks both to the people that rendered first aid and care at the scene, but also in terms of the outpouring of support from across the community. The investigation into this attempted murder is moving quickly. Police have confirmed the shooting as terrorist related. The new IRA is their primary line of inquiry. Leave it it's not often you see this. The PSNI chief constable meeting leaders from Northern Ireland's five main parties. The meeting finished with one message. We stand united and we do stand here united as one voice in our condemnation against this horrific attack on a police officer, someone who's part of our community. It was never acceptable and it is not acceptable now. It will not be tolerated and we stand four square with the police to ensure that those who have been responsible for this attack are brought to justice. What happened here on Wednesday night has sent shockwaves through communities here. That's because John Caldwell is one of the best known detectives in the PSNI. He's led press conferences on major inquiries during his 26 year career. And some say that is what's made him a high profile target. Oma has a lot of scars, but this is very, this is just something that doesn't happen in our town. Joanne runs a coffee cart less than a mile from where the shooting happened. She doesn't want to see history repeat itself. Nobody wants to go back. People don't want it. We don't want to raise our kids in that environment. A very small minority, maybe, but not from anybody that I've spoke to. The people of Oma do not want that. We've come too far in the peace process. You know, I don't want to raise my children in that world. This is the most serious attack on a police officer in Northern Ireland for many years. People here hope that history doesn't repeat itself, but some say this attack has written a new chapter. Hi there, Bradley. Yeah, there's been some developments which you heard about in your report. How have people uh, been feeling, though, where you are? Yeah, Julian, there's been some developments. The police are moving at pace. They're now treating this as a terrorist-related incident. Meanwhile, the detective, John Caldwell, still remains in hospital. He's in a critical condition, heavily sedated. Uh, the family will, of course, be devastated by what happened here uh, on Wednesday night. Uh, this attack really is a reminder of the threat still faced by many police officers uh, here in Northern Ireland. That threat is something which dates back to the conflict here known as the Troubles, where 302 police officers were killed. Uh, people who live in Omar say this town has deep scars from a violent past. The idea of history repeating itself is a worry. Uh, and the fact a police officer was shot in front of children in such an open space still hasn't sunk in for many people. Bradley and Omar there, thank you very much, thank you.